beautiful. This this set. This yeah. is this is great. And it's it, our fake town. It looks very real. <laughs> We'd, I'd like to live in a town like this. Except with leaves like that. Yeah. But you don't need a gardener. It saves <laughs> you a saves you a fortune in, in bills every month. Right. I like this. Now you've got to put that back. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, there goes your budget this We've month. We've got more. All Sorry. right. <laughs> All right. And, and this is now you shoot here a lot. What, yes. What's the most uh, memorable scene when you look at this that you think of? Um I had to make out with my uh, my TV uh, love interest Scott Patterson for a photo shoot but we had to like make out like the way I don't think anybody actually does it where like we're holding for the camera so we're like mmm hold and mmm hold <laughs> and we had to do that for a long time and then like never really do the actual thing so you weren't really touching you were just making that no, noise and mm. like a little <laughs> you know but like you know hold it and and try to make it look pretty it was gross yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right well we'll look at that cover up and actually show that when we talk okay. about this take us on a tour of the neighborhood oh good uh, all right everybody have a buddy I told you to have a buddy Uh, yes, they do. Okay, okay. There, there they are. They have their buddies. All right, let's go this way. All and right. uh, we've. So this is Alexis. You're fluent in Spanish, right? Yep. Yeah. Because your parents. Where are your parents from? Uh, my dad's from Argentina, and my mom was brought up in Mexico. Okay, great. So this way, Lauren can give us a tour, and you can translate all also oh, for Spanish-speaking okay. okay. uh, watchers. Okay. Go ahead, Lauren. On the right, we have Dozy's Market. Uh, la derecha tenemos a Dozy's Market. Uh -huh. And sometimes in real life, when I'm out of like laundry detergent or something, I'll just go in there and steal it because the props are real. But don't tell anybody. So you'll uh, steal. <laughs> go ahead. Las props son real. And Lauren steals. <laughs> She's making it up. She doesn't really speak it. I do speak yeah. it. Just, right. That's a lot to like, that is, translate. That's a lot. That's a lot. Like that's a a lot. Okay, well, good point. The Gilmore Girls revival has been filming next door for the past few months, so their trailers are right outside our stage, which gave me an idea that we would send Andy Zener outside. He's going to knock and see if we can just get somebody to come over to the show right now. It's a segment I'm calling, Will They Answer? <laughs> All right. Andy, are you there? Hi, Ellen. Hey, Andy. <laughs> Whose trailer? Where are you now? I'm right here in front of Alexis Bladell. Let's see if she's there, okay? All right. <laughs> Is it locked? I don't think she's there, Ellen. All right. Alexis? No. All right. All right, come on. Who's next? <laughs> Lauren Graham. Knock loudly. J J Lauren. Lauren! Scream it. Scream it. Lauren! <laughs> Lauren Graham, Ellen. shooting? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, they're not going to knock on your door. You're not going to be there. I know. Yeah. I, but at least I brought my shoes. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I thought you'd be in slippers or something like that, just hanging out. But you had your shoes off. Yeah. So, hey, how are you? Hi, good. It's, how are you? It's good to see you. Good to see you. So, um, you've been shooting next door, and yet I haven't run into you, because you're working all the time. You're yeah. either in a trailer or in the stage. Yeah. And it was like n nine years ago that it wrapped? It was about eight years ago. And first of all, it's been the most incredible experience. I cry trying to talk about it because mm -hmm. it's just been so, I feel so lucky to get to do it, but it's also been so bizarre because I opened the door and we're across the street from you, which wasn't the case before, but the set is the same, but we're in a different place. So yeah. it's like it was yesterday, but also it was not yesterday. No, it was not. <laughs> no. It was, but it's like it was yesterday. Exactly. But it wasn't. Which is why people invented the phrase, like it was yesterday, yeah. because it was like it was yesterday. But, but it, and yet it wasn't. It wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> so is it, is it, does it fall like right into place? Even yes. Even though it's weird? Yes, it really did. Because it, like it was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> because it was like yesterday. Yeah. Um, I love this character so much, and it, I had the same feeling I had when I first opened that script, which was, just such a deep connection, and um, to get to do it again, who would have imagined? Yeah. Netflix had to be invented, you guys had to want it back, yeah. which is... Everything so, <laughs> Everything is so excited. So, it's on Netflix, and it's, what's the, do you have a title? What's it called? So, I'm here to tell you the title. Oh, okay, I, good. I can tell you the title for the first time. It's four 90-minute episodes, and they're winter, spring, summer, and fall, so the show is called Gilmore Girls, A Year in the Life. Oh, wow. 
And how many more do you have to shoot? Are you done? We're almost done. You're almost done yeah. completely. Yeah. And what were you doing in the trailer before we knocked? Well, I thought that it was so kind of strange and wonderful to have played this character and then to get to play her again um, that I started writing about it. And I have a book of essays that are hopefully humorous coming out um, concurrent when the show comes out. And so... Uh, What's it called? It's called Talking As Fast As I Can. Uh-huh. <laughs> because... For obvious reasons. You talk fast, yeah. And um, you are in my book. I am. Several times, yeah. What, 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 what? what, what? Well, there's one. <laughs> I talk about just how incredibly supportive and great you've been to me. And then, but there's a chapter called, You Can't Be Vegan Just for Ellen. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> because I realized that over the years, I've, I, and I still try, but I've tried to be vegan, but that one of the real main reasons is because like, I want to be more like you, which then I also realized is the premise of the stalker film, Single White Female. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, you can't do things just to get invited to Ellen's house. Um, but, uh, so there's a chapter about that. Oh, uh, well, I'm honored. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I'm tired. Thanks. Um, <laughs> I am... Well, and I couldn't be more supportive of you because I think you're incredibly talented and uh, your last book was hilarious. This thank book you. is, is going to be hilarious. And we all can't wait to see the Gilmore Girls. So thank you thank for running you. over here. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. What was it like the first day? I mean, that's thank everybody's you. been waiting for this. <laughs> was it surreal? Like, did it feel like you just finished or was it weird the first day? It was both. I mean, I snapped back into it like no time had passed. But then we were, you know, for instance, one of our stages was here. We didn't used to, on this show, we didn't used to be here. So I'd walk out and see people from your show and just feel so confused, you know. But I, I have never had an experience like it. It was one of the happiest times of my life. And on the very first day, I was so um, nervous and I couldn't decide what to wear because it was the scene where it's the first time you'll see my character. And uh, I kept changing, changing, changing. And finally, I, I had to go. And so I picked something off the rack and it was a little big and my dresser pinned it in the back. And so I went to set, had our day, incredible day. And at the end of the day, she knocks on my door and she said, I have something to show you. I, I swear I didn't see this before, but this is the the shirt you picked and, and um, you know, I had thought there was like a pin in my back and she came and cut the tag out and it was the tag from the shirt I picked on the first day of playing this character for the second time. And <laughs> the tag says, Lorelei 2. What? <laughs> That's freaky. It, the shirt was called the Lorelei 2 and, and it just, I know. I know. <laughs> I think you're the person, from what I understand, that we have gotten wet <laughs> the most times on the show. Yes. For good cause. Always but, a good cause, But yes. you, you were so gracious. I think there were, there were three different times. Um, that was one. That was one. How cold was that? Do you remember? Freezing. Okay. It's good for you. Yeah. But cold showers. The whole Wim, Wim Hof. Yep. Wim yep. Hof. Exactly. So that was a... And then we're and just... And then, yep, yep, catching water balloons. Yeah. Yeah, that was... That was a fun show. Yeah, I definitely had to like yep. uh, visit uh, my, my wash folks and uh -huh. say, can you guys get some water yeah. out of this nice time? And then... Yeah. Yep. Dunk. Yep. Yeah. You're a good sport. What, what is your favorite memory here? Pro probably for me when, uh, when the gal kept knocking on my door and coming into the room and chatting me up and yep. all that, and you guys were trying to fool me with... We tried to fool you. It didn't yeah. work. So did. I, I was in uh, one of our writers, Benda's ear, and I was telling her to be annoying to see how patient you would be. Mm -hmm. And uh, you wouldn't let her in. Okay. You okay. Well, no, she, had, she walked me in. But see, here's the thing. Of course, anybody that's been to the show, I think as much as I've been on the show, there's a particular room you go to, you walk in, you know, your folks are there. There's, you know, your groomer putting your makeup on, doing all that. And I walked in, I'm like, this isn't the same room. Oh. This is not, where are my people? There's like, there's nothing here. So I started like right away, the bells are ringing, the red flags are going off. Yeah. And then when she kept coming in and knocking and knocking and knocking. You looked was, around for the cameras. And I you, did. And you realized that I did. we were doing what we were doing. Yeah. You were too, too smart for us. I just think I've got, you know, I'm, I'm terribly aware. Like, yeah, situational no. awareness of everything is just No, it's, it's, it's just you're, you're, we just thought you're handsome and dumb, and <laughs> you're not. You're... <laughs>
turns out you're handsome and smart, and we were we were fooled. Um, <laughs> so uh, one of my favorite memories yeah. is because uh, you're super super strong, and we used to work out at the same gym. Yep. He still works out there. I do. But he did push-ups with me on his back. Yeah. Um, oh my God. I mean. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, you, are you getting a lot of that? <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. It's like <laughs> right now it's your time. Okay. Okay, okay. you ready? All right, I'm ready. Oh, God. Oh. You gotta help me. Here we go, too. <laughs> yeah, we, we never did that at Rise Movement, did we? No. No. You know, you shoot uh, Mike and Molly on a lot. I've I never know, met we're you so though. So close. I've never met you. In so person. many people. You think we'd run into each other on a bike or in a in a showgirl or me just costume? Standing outside your door, <laughs> going, "Where is she? Where is she?" <laughs> Have you done that? A <laughs> couple times. Okay. Not, not a weird amount. Like no, three. Just three times. Three times. Four, four is four weird. Four is when it turns yeah. the corner. Yeah. Three's cool. Uh, I think. Uh, I think. First of all, you're so hilarious. And oh my God. you. Where were you? Where Where did you uh, grow up? Pl uh, Plainfield, Illinois. Illinois. And, uh, farm town outside in a Chicago. Farm town. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. I like farm towns. Yeah, I do too. So a small town, and then you you go from a farm to how did you start doing comedy? I went. You know, I ended up. I wanted to go to New York to do fashion, and my parents were like, "Oh, you'll kill yourself." No, that's it. Which I probably would have actually. And uh, so I went down to Southern Illinois, and then ended up in New York with a friend. That, like, two days after I got there, he's like, "You're doing stand up," and just started circling things in like, the Village Voice and. I didn't have enough sense to be like, that's a terrible idea. I was like, okay, it's probably easy. <laughs> and just like, <laughs> like did a quick shot and went up there and I was like, today my day, like it was terrible. Like I just talked, I didn't know you were supposed to write. <laughs> I just got up there and kind of talked and talked and like it was going pretty well or so I thought. And they're flashing a light and I was like, I, I thought I was getting like the encouragement light. So I was like, all right. <laughs> and then, <laughs> Because I didn't know. I didn't know, like, if they flash a light at you, it means get off. Like, right. your time's done. <laughs> We're done with you. Leave the stage immediately. And every time they did it, I was like, uh, uh, <laughs> I was, like, winking. I thought, like, the guy in the booth maybe liked me. Like, none of this was actually happening, so.